Hey y'all, still out at the uh, East Tennessee Mopar Club's uh, show here in Knoxville, and uh, I got a 68 Charger that's uh, female owned, and you know it's always cool when we find a female that owns a hot rod, and it's her car, and she knows a little bit about it, so I think you're all going to enjoy this one, it's a very cool car, it's very sweet, so anyways, let me uh, run her down, and uh, we'll take a look at it. Naylene, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, tell me a little bit about your hot rod. Uh, it's a 68 Charger, um, I've bought it about seven years ago took about four to restore with my dad stripped it down everything's been restored on it and it's been done about three years ago taking it to car shows and everything so you you did a lot of the work yourself yes i actually stripped all the paint off of it myself my dad helped with the body work i helped him paint it we put it back together together so it was kind of uh he supervised it and did what you couldn't do but most of it you wanted to get in there and do yourself yes sir Cool, sir. I'm not. <laughs> That's a southern thing, ma'am. I understand. Um, so tell me, have you been into hot rods all your life? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, my family has their own hot rods, Mopars, of course, and it's kind of a family thing, so we really enjoy it. That's the next question. Y'all are big Mopar fans. Yes. Is this your first car like this you've had? Yes, this is my first old car. I drive a Dodge Dakota for my everyday truck, so. Oh, okay, cool. Well, let's take a look at it. Uh, what color is that? It's Lamborghini orange. Oh, wow. Off of what year Lamborghini? Uh, I don't think it's a particular year. It oh. was just a particular style of Lamborghini paint. Oh, okay. And what motor does it have in it? It has a 383 stroker. Okay. Have you dynoed it? No, we have not. I love that interior. Is that the way it came? Um, that's the original style interior. Um, I opted to have the pleats done in orange through Legendary. Right. So they would have been what, normally black? Black on black, or you could do gray. Um, in 68, I don't think they had that orange yet. I think it was in 70 when that came along. No, girl, I'm all about that. That's cool. That is really cool. I like that touch. Can I open the door? Sure. And, and uh, where did you find the car? Actually, it was a in a garage a mile from my parents' house for about 15 years, and I never knew it. So it was there through my childhood. <laughs> wow. And you didn't have no friends or anything that were friends of those people that could tell you about it? No, a guy in our car club knew about him uh, once I started asking about finding a charger, and he said, I think there's a guy down the street that has one. So it worked out great. What kind of shape was it in when you got it? Uh, it was it was in pretty rough shape. I mean, it was a good solid car, but it had it had a lot of work to be done. So, what'd you have to do to it? Uh, we replaced some of the rusted areas, so there's no there's no bondo or anything. It's a good solid car. We stripped everything down, fixed any body lines. Um, my dad, he's very much a perfectionist, so every detail had to be perfect so i think it we did a, a really good job with it in the end see my dad's the same way and in the end you're glad that's the way it was but <laughs> if you're anything like me there was times you want to pull your hair out because you were like they're never going to see that they'll never notice it you know but my right. dad was like it doesn't matter you know we'll know it's wrong so exactly yeah cool that's how i feel so this was like this was like the particular year and everything you were looking for yes uh i wanted a charger it didn't matter if it was a 68 or 69 because i like the 69s too but this one I, I fell in love with when i saw it and, um, we put the tail stripe on um that was an option in 68. is that painted or is it vinyl it's a it's a sticker okay yeah we you, we put it on ourselves right and those tail lights look original yeah, those are uh, most of the most everything is original except some of the, like I said the seat covers and a few other things. You can order door panels and things like that. Yeah. No, I love those seats. <laughs> it's a sweet car. Don't get me wrong. I mean, my being a Vol fan, you know, a Tennessee fan, I was drawn to it to begin with. Yeah. But when I looked in it and saw those seats, I was like, man, I got to shoot this car <laughs> if nothing else for those seats. That is so cool. And orange is always been my favorite color so cool nice car and I guess the underneath of it's as nice as the top of it uh, yeah I mean we got a new gas tank um, everything's been rubberized or whatever you call it right think, so. undercoated or whatever yeah. and the hideaway headlights work on it yeah, they're actually vacuum. They're, um, right. It has a vacuum switch. 
Can we see under the hood? Oh, yeah. Holy smokes. Man. And you went with the regular air cleaner on it. I like that. Yep. And then you've done a little work on the motor? Yeah, it's been um, basically uh, put back together, new pistons, new cam, everything. It's been gone through and rebuilt and yeah, all. The same, same engine size, just right. redone. Right, you didn't bore it out or anything mm -hmm. like that. It, I mean, it's completely, completely redone. Right, so. I got you. Does it have air condition on it? We put AC on it. it. There was an option 68 you could get factory air, but this one didn't have it, and we decided to put that on there, so, so there's a kit you can get to do that. Cool. What kind of exhaust are you running on it? Uh, it's Flowmasters, like two and a half inch, I believe. Okay, cool. And then these are what, turn signal indicators up here? Yeah. They work too? Mm-hmm. Wow. Can we hear it? Cool. Do me one other favor and just shut it up and let me do a walk around on it. Okay. What a pretty car, man. Very cool. White lettered tires on it, you know. That was the thing. What kind of rims are those, you know? Uh, those are Stockton wheels, TQs. I saw them on another car at a Mopar Nationals in Ohio and decided those were the wheels I wanted. And it's got the little Mopar emblem too and these little lights here in the front. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Those must be original. Yeah. I'll yeah. Have, yeah. I just like the body on that car. It's just cool. I don't know, maybe because we grew up with Dukes of Hazard on TV, but oh, yeah. I just think it's cool. And now the new ones, they've put those kind of designs in the side. They got it on the new one too. Yeah. But that's where that comes from. Kind of, it's called, I think, the bottle. Bottle nose car. Oh yeah. Coke actually, um, there's a Coke car that was done. That was a '68 or '69 Charger. They painted up like a, a Coke bottle. Did you uh, did you upgrade the brakes and all on it? Um, it's got manual brakes on it. Oh okay. We haven't done. We didn't do this on it. How's that working for you? It works fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You ever take it to the drag strip? No. No. You get a lot of people ask you to borrow it? Uh, buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure people would borrow it too. I think borrowing it would be better than buying it. I mean, I'd like to own the car and have it all around all the time, but, you know, if, if uh, you let me borrow it and you pay the bill on it, then that'd be <laughs> even better. These old cars are so long, I gotta get so far back to, to get the whole car. Anyways folks, there you go, 68 Charger, 383, very cool car. Um, I knew y'all would enjoy it, I wanted to bring it to you, so. Girl, I appreciate it so much, thanks for showing me your car. Thank you for your time. Sure. There you go, hope y'all have enjoyed it, have a good day, see ya.